Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Dr. O'Keen, the topic of fasting versus not fasting before cholesterol testing is in the news again. What is your opinion? You know, fasting for cholesterol testing is kind of like talking about fasting for blood sugar. And I think everybody understands that there's value in getting a fasting blood sugar and there's value in getting a non-fasting blood sugar because it shows what happens to your blood sugar when you're not fasting. And actually the same is probably true for cholesterol. When you talk about cholesterol, you're really talking about a lipid profile, which includes a number of parameters. It includes total cholesterol, LDL, what people like to think of as the bad cholesterol, though it's not really bad, HDL, the so-called good cholesterol, and triglycerides. Can you explain what triglycerides are? Triglycerides are uh, what fat is converted to as it crosses from the intestines into your bloodstream. What circumstances would lead someone to fast before cholesterol testing? When you eat fat, fat and blood don't mix, okay? If fat came into the bloodstream as pure fat, it would clog everything. So it's always immediately combined with a protein into what's called a lipoprotein. And the first of those is triglycerides. So triglycerides are very, very sensitive to what you ate last. How often should people have their cholesterol tested? Average person, once a year. You know, if it's just screening, if it's a young person, maybe once every five years, you know, and it was normal. Uh, so it's a function of age and other disease. Would there be a notable difference in the test results if someone fasted versus if they didn't fast? If the triglycerides are an issue, yes. If the triglycerides are not an issue, no.